are approximately 52 cities in California that have an ordinance which requires the seller or his real estate agent to obtain an inspection report of the structure that is being sold. The goal is to make sure all building codes and health and safety regulations are in compliance before the property is sold or transferred to a new owner. You will find a list of such cities at this link below. Some cities require it of any sale, commercial or residential or vacant land. Some require it only for principal residences. Some cities just require the submission of paperwork and the payment of a fee. Others require inspections uh, in which inspectors go out to check the premises and any non-compliant items to be fixed have to be done so before a certification is given and escrow is allowed to close. So this is my escrow tip for today. When taking a listing to sell the property, the real estate agent should familiarize himself or herself with local government regulations and ordinances to provide the professional service to his client. They need to, one, advise them of what is involved in this inspection process. Number two, what are the upfront costs? Number three, the possibilities that compliance repairs may be required. And of course, number four, they need to be sure that the escrow time period will be sufficient to complete the certification. For example, in the city of Los Angeles, the 9A residential report may take up to three weeks to complete after the agency receives the paid application. They don't send out an inspection, but they will check all of their government agency's files for that property. If you have a short escrow time period, it will not allow for the process to be completed. Most ordinances specifically state that the pre-sale inspection cannot be waived. I have one example for one transaction in the city of El Monte. A covered patio was constructed without permit. The homeowner was instructed after the inspector saw it to tear it down even though the buyer wanted it to remain. The teardown cost was already in the thousands of dollars. And if the work was not completed before the closing, then the buyer had to sign an agreement and deposit a monetary bond that it would be done within a certain time period. So this is on the other extreme, where there is an inspector who goes out and actually asks the homeowner to do certain repairs. City reports are something that we all have to be aware of. And hopefully your real estate professional will check into this particular city that you are in and will make sure that no city report is going to be required. And if there is, they will make sure that there is going to be sufficient time in escrow to get the reports completed. Thank you. This is Juliana Tewitt.